Shoot, don't blow. I just don't want her to send to the wrong place. Mm. Oh, <gasps> I got it! Since defeating Chrysalis, Starlight's given the changelings an opportunity to revolutionize their society. Maybe I can send her there. Cool spell. If Starlight goes to the Changeling Hive, she can help them adjust to their new way of life. Okay, friendship 101. Thorax and I are going to show you how to compromise. I want to have honeysuckle nectar for lunch. I would like a sandwich. Oh no, what should we do? Attack! The winner gets to choose! Oh. Yeah. 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 Or Thorax and I can talk about it and come up with a solution that works for every pony. Starlight, how do you feel about honeysuckle and peanut butter sandwiches? Why, that sounds delicious! Compromise! This doesn't seem like something Starlight and Thorax would do. Uh, this is Twilight's fantasy spike. There is no wrong way to fantasize. Thank you. Starlight Glimmer is a most apt and perspicacious pony. Yep, definitely a Twilight fantasy. This seems like a lovely path for Starlight. The changelings have so much to learn about how to enjoy love through friendships. Starlight would be busy for a very long time, but her work there would be very rewarding. Or dangerous. It would only take one changeling to deviate from the pack. <laughs> Hi! I'm Starlight Glimmer. What's your name? Uh, Cornicle? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Oh, your wings are so... um... see-through. I'm so glad I'm a pony. <laughs> are you like bugs or what? <laughs> There she is! Get her! Uh, that probably won't happen. But it could! I can't just send her off to Celestia knows where without thinking it through! Hmm, I was not aware that I was an expression. An appropriate one, of course. For even I don't know the answer. This is a momentous decision. You must consider all the possibilities. Rethink, rethink, rethink! <gasps> What about the dragons? I can send Starlight to the Dragonlands! She and Ember would totally hit it off. Ember! Starlight! You ready to do some death-defying dragon stuff? Ha <laughs> ha, tiddly! Okay, that doesn't sound anything like Ember or Starlight. Who knows what their dynamic would be, Spike? Freaky. Starlight will love it in the Dragonlands. In her letters, Ember said dragons do a lot of fun things. The Feast of Fire, the Dragon Bowl, Quachella. <laughs> Starlight could be there for a really long time. But then again, not all dragons like ponies as much as Ember does. Hey, Twinkle Star! It's uh, Starlight Glimmer. Star, Colite, Star? Starlight. Glimmer. Yeah, whatever. You want to hang with us? What are we diving into? Lava! What? Twilight, this is crazy. Starlight's really good with magic. She could just stop herself from falling into a pit of lava. What if she didn't realize it was happening? You just never know, Spike. I just need to think of someplace safe to send her. Someplace safe, someplace safe, someplace safe. I could send her to the Crystal Empire to continue her magical studies with Sunburst. It'll be perfect. Sunburst's knowledge of magic is only matched by Starlight's abilities. I got it! Try placing your horn directly on the potion and picture the clock you wish to make. They could challenge each other into becoming the most talented unicorns Equestria has ever seen! We did it! Quick, what's next? Of course.
course, the study of magic is a lifelong pursuit, and Starlight could be there for a while, especially once they start attempting the really complicated stuff. Three, two, one. What if they become too ambitious? I never would have thought to combine Star Swirl's apparition spell with Spatium Flexibus, but what would happen if we added Sonambula's Tempest Objectus? If we do it just right, it should allow us to materialize an object that was lost in the past. 